I'd like to call the, the call to order uh, this uh, caucus. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paul Proda, and I am the chairman of the Republican Town Committee here in Bethel. I have the distinct honor of welcoming, welcoming all of you and calling the 2009 Bethel Republican Caucus to order. I'd like to begin by appointing Bill Hagan as our temporary secretary of the caucus. Okay. And at this time, will we all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, justice for all. This time, the secret, uh, temporary secretary will read the call of the caucus. Our report from the Credentials Committee uh, reports that there are 201 Republicans present. I, I'd love to put it louder, but it's going to feed back. Our Credentials Committee, can you hear me now? All right, thank you. Credentials Committee report is that there are 201 Republican electors in present this evening. This time I'll call on Cliff Tager to give the uh, Rules Committee report. Thank you, Paul. Can everybody hear me? These are the caucus rules. Unless otherwise set forth herein, GOP State Central bylaws, Republican RTC bylaws, and Robert's Rules of Order will apply to the caucus. All candidates must be qualified electors of the Bethel Republican Party. The number of candidates which may be nominated is as follows. For first selectman, one. For selectman, one. For town clerk, one. For town treasurer, one. For board of education, four-year term, four. For board of education, two-year term, one. For board of assessment appeals, two. For board of finance, four. For inland wetlands commission, three. For inland wetlands commission alternate, one. Planning and zoning commission, three. For planning and zoning commission alternate, one. For police commission, three. For Zoning Board of Appeals, three. And for Zoning Board of Appeals alternate, one. One nomination speech will be allowed, though not required, for each candidate for a contested office, and they will be allowed to speak for up to two minutes. In order to be nominated, candidates must be present or have communicated their written consent to being a candidate. For voting, voting will begin once nominations for all offices are closed. For uncontested offices, if a candidate for office is uncontested, the chair may direct the secretary to cast one vote on behalf of the caucus for that candidate, and he or she will become endorsed. For contested or vacant offices, the following rules apply. If an office is contested, that means if more than one candidate, if more candidates than the party can nominate, the chair will put those to, will put the house to a vote. If a ballot vote is needed, Depending on the number of contested offices, the chair will work with the credentials committee to determine an appropriate means of balloting. If a full ticket ballot is used, votes may be cast by office or by slate. A ballot committee will distribute, collect, and count the ballots 
And in order to get a ballot, the voters must show the red ticket they, they received when they um, were registered. Um, and for those earning majority of votes cast, uh, will become endorsed by the caucus. Thank you. Hearing none, I'll try your minds. All those in favor of accepting reports of the Credentials and Rules Committee, signify, signify by saying aye and raising your hands. Aye. All those opposed, say no and raise your hands. Record, let the record show the reports are adopted. At this time, I will entertain a nomination for permanent chair and secretary. I recognize Nick Ellis. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? <laughs> Thank you, Art. Are there any other nominations? Hearing none, is there a motion to close nominations? Motion to close nominations. In a second? Thanks. And all those in favor, closing nominations signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? All those in favor of electing Paul and Proda and Bill Hagan as chair and secretary of the caucus? Okay. All, all in favor? Aye. Okay. All those in favor? We said aye. The motion carries. Thank you. At this time, I'll call on Tim Beeble, chair of the BRTC Vacancy Committee, to explain how the candidate interview process worked. Yes, the... Um the BRTC closer. Closer? to you <laughs> okay. the uh, BRTC's vacancy committee is made up of seven members uh, they, they include John Lennon myself Cliff Tager Bill Slifkin um, Bob Legnard and who am I missing oh Khalil uh, Razami and Jay Strini and we had met uh, 11 times, but let me, let me just kind of get to the, this, the um, election in November. There are 32 open seats on various boards and commissions. Any one party can nominate no more than 30 candidates, and two of these seats cannot be taken by Republicans due to minority representation uh, rules. And these seats are recommended for cross-endorsement from minority parties or other parties. As of last night, 20 of the current incumbents uh, have indicated their interest in running for election to their current board or another, or another board uh, that is up for election this, this fall. In addition, the Vacancy Committee uh, talked to 35 others who were either recommended to the Vacancy Committee or had come forward themselves indicating their interest in running for a various uh, board. The Vacancy Committee held 11 meetings from May through July and we interviewed everyone who had an interest in running for election and, and wanted to be interviewed. The Vacancy Committee presented their recommendations to the, B, the Bethel Republican Town Committee, and the Town Committee debated the recommendations and voted on a slate, and that slate will be presented tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. At this time, I recognize Paul Zetkowski, Vice Chairman of the Republican Town Committee. Mr. Zetkowski will present the RTC slate and formally place those candidates who are nominated at the July 28th BRTC meeting in the nomination. Thank you, Paul. On behalf of the uh, Bethel Republican Town Committee, I place the following names in nomination as Republican candidates for November 2009. For first selectman, Lawrence Krabus. Selectman, Paul Zetkowski. Town Clerk, Lisa Berg. Town Treasurer, Robert Kozlowski. Board of Education, for a four-year term, Stuart Carlson, Scott Clayton, Melanie O'Brien, and Jill DeRosa. Board of Education, two-year term, Cynthia McCorkendale, Board of Assessment Appeals, A.J. Bernard and Linda Curtis, Board of Finance, Philip Gallagher, Tim Draper, Gary Reagan, and Bill Kingston, Inland Wetlands Commission, Will Michael, Ken Stevens, Rodney Haas, 
Inland Wetlands Commission Alternate, Gervais Turnin. Planning and Zoning Commission, Patricia Rist, Kitty Grant, John Lennon. Planning and Zoning Commission, Alternate, Stephen Deschel. Police Commission, Hugo Greco, Nick Ellis, and Daniel Grosso. Zoning Board of Appeals, Peter Verderosa, Nick Santanello, John Streeman. Zoning Board of Appeals Alternate, William Foster. Thank you, Paul. Do we have a second for the RTC slate of candidates? All in favor? <laughs> Actually, are there any additional nominations from the floor? Okay, we will go from the bottom up. For the Zoning Board of Appeals alternate. Okay, how about for the Zoning Board of Appeals? Police Commission. Mr. Burke. Thank you. We'll second the whole. Okay, the uh, for the Planning and Zoning Commission alternate. Okay. Okay. For the for the Planning and Zoning Commission alternate. For the Planning and Zoning Commission. For the Inland Wetlands Commission alternate. For the Inland Wetlands Commission. For the Board of Finance. For the Board of Assessment Appeals. For the Board of Education for your term. For the Board of Education to your term. For the Town Treasurer. For the Town Clerk. For selectmen. That's for selectmen. We're asking for selectmen. For first selectmen. Anyone else? May I have a motion to close all nominations? Second. All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Thank you. All nominations are closed. At this point, I'll ask the secretary to cast one vote on behalf of the caucus for all candidates who are uncontested, and those candidates will become officially endorsed. Now that that has been done, I will read the list of endorsed candidates. Do we have a list of endorsed candidates? Come on up, Paul. Could you come up and do it? Because I can't see. Candidates which were presented um, by the audience here tonight for first selectman Bob Burke. For Selectman Bill Slifkin, for Police Commission Ron Chase, for Police Commission Leonard Doobie. That's it. Four We've come to the point where anyone is free to give a brief nominating speech for any of the candidates for contested office. One speech will be allowed for up to two minutes on a candidate's behalf. Anyone like to speak on behalf of candidates uh, for selectmen? The microphone's right there, by the way, so for a nominating speech. Bob Legnard.
come before you this evening to place a nomination in the name of Paul Zikowski for another term as selectman in the town of Bethel. Paul has worked hard and has the experience and the knowledge of the pending town projects needed to move the town forward when elected with the rest of the Republican and George team in November. I have come to know Paul as a man of good character and principle who has taken the oath of office seriously and respects the tenant that he would do what is in the best interest of Bethel and his citizens, popular or unpopular. A great deal has been accomplished by Republican administrations in the past year, but as always, our town is a work in progress. We should not rest on our past accomplishments. Paul Zinkowski should not be threatened, bullied, or pushed to the side. He is too important an asset to waste. I feel that Paul has done a professional and dedicated job on the Board of Selectmen and deserves to continue to work for the betterment of Bethel. For these reasons, I stand before you tonight for the sake of the party unity and party success at the polls and place the name of Paul Zikowski in nomination as a Republican and George candidate for a seat on the Bethel Board of Selectmen in November. Thank you. Good evening, one and all. Can you hear me okay? I come here tonight to ask you to vote for Bill Slick. Over the last three years, he's worked tireless, tirelessly on the board of finance, on the building committees. He's somebody that's worked very well with. And Mr. Zankowski's worked very well with. At this point in my life and where I am now, I need somebody like Bill Swift to carry on the torch for this town. So I would ask you to vote for Mr. Swift. He's a man that they named baseball fields after. He's worked in the Bethel Baseball Association for 30 years. He has never failed to come forward and work hard for the town of Bethel. Mr. Zankowski has done the same. We blessed you tonight, or cursed you tonight, with two very good people and very good candidates. I would ask you not to disrespect Mr. Zankowski, and please vote for Mr. Swift. Thank you. Bill. Working very closely with Larry Travis. During that time, I have come to know him very well. He is a person of rare intelligence, and he is also extremely thorough. He is honest with unquestioned integrity. He grasps a large picture of why people love Bethel and move to Bethel. And at the same time, he has a tremendous grasp and desire to know the fine details to make policy work. He is goal-oriented and he will work tirelessly with all constituencies in a civil and courteous manner to get the job done. Balance, a 
Uh, he understands how to balance the needs of the various constituencies, whether they be town services or education. And as an example, he was instrumental <coughs> in enabling the Board of Education at the request of the Board of Finance to turn back a large amount of money, even though it could have been used for educational purposes, he was instrumental in turning back a large amount of money in our time of fiscal need to the general fund of the town of Bethel to protect our economy. Above all, Larry Travis cares deeply about the town of Bethel, and I believe after working with him very closely that he is the man to lead Bethel on into the future during these perilous times. I place in nomination Larry Travis as the person for first elected to the town of Bethel. Thank you. Are there any other speeches? Good evening. This is the first time I've been here, so uh, I've been pretty new at this, but uh, I've known Leonard Doobie for, I'd say, a good 10, 15 years. Uh, he was a Danbury cop for nine years, and he was a Bethel cop here for 15 years. So I'm sure he knows the neighborhood and all the people in the town. Whether you run into him on uh, sad occasions or good occasions, I uh, believe he's a good individual. He knows the police department. He knows the men in the police department. He's been acquainted with the town for this law and he wants to represent the people through the police department. I think we've a good choice. Thank you very much.
You will you will need to come up to the front in an orderly fashion and put your red ticket into the first box here closest to the microphone and you will be given a, a ballot. You could go then anywhere within the auditorium and complete your ballot and then return it to this box over here next to the podium. You cannot leave the auditorium. You must remain in the uh, auditorium. So in an orderly fashion, if we can have you just come up. 
Dan and Bob DiMatteo. Folks, remember, you're only voting for the contested offices. The other ones have already been uh, closed nominations. You're only voting for one candidate per contested position. Everyone get that? We are only voting for the contested offices. Please only check one box for those contested offices. The rest of them have already been placed in nomination. <laughs> Remember, we're only voting for the first selectmen, selectmen, and police commission candidates. Another reminder, folks, that you need to write in the contested candidate next to the recommended person from the Republican Town Committee slate. And they're up on the chart over here at the easel. Just to be clear on these ballots, if you're writing in a candidate, cross out the name of the other person. You might want to circle it so that people will see it. Okay. If you're writing in a candidate, all right, the, o the other one that's already printed in there, put a line through it. Okay. Check's fine. Next check, whatever.
You're only voting for the contestant seats. If you're voting for the police commission and you're voting for the first and Ladies and Can I have your attention, please? Can I have your attention, please? There's a lot of concerns about how to fill out this ballot. We're only voting for four positions that are contested. First selectmen, selectmen, and the police commissioners. If you're writing in a candidate, write it in and cross out the other candidate that's already printed there. That's it. Okay. Yeah, but Millie's over there. I see Charlie waddling along. I mean, can you please pass in your ballots? Uh, we don't want to be here all night. We still have to count them. Two. There's three. It's ten twenty, and they're still counting. 200 ballots. A lot of people have left already, but there are still some people here waiting to hear the outcome, and I'll be here with them.
federal government, the state government, as our town's government, that we can influence immediately relative to the direction of future operations of the municipal center as well as the education of our children. Speaking on behalf of the uh, candidate for first selectman, Larry Kravis, and myself as a candidate, that will occur if we're elected in this administration. These fundamental promises will occur immediately upon taking office. We have municipal government, we will have municipal government with integrity, open communication, honesty, promotion of our community, and a government of the people. You know, when you take a look at this, I'd like to thank you personally again for coming here. This essentially starts the 2009 campaign for the night's meeting. Your support is appreciated here tonight, and both Larry and I look forward to working with the following for a victory in our room. Just to make it brief, I'd like to say thank you for coming here tonight. All right, Paul.